What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking your x-rays. Welcome to my turf, my court, my playground. What do you say we work on some positioning? Let's go, let's get it. All right, so we're looking at uh, both of your knees, correct? Yeah. All right. So they want to see some images with you uh, bearing weight on it. So that's why I had to take off your shoes so you're on level ground there. So I'm just going to demonstrate what I need to have you do here, okay? So we're going to get you close to this board here. You're going to kind of, I think about this distance or so. You're going to get your knees as close as they can get to each other. And then I just want you to rotate your knees so they're pointing forward. They're not pointing outward or anything like that. So kind of have them pointing forward. And then you're just gonna kind of bend your knees and relax it on this board here. Okay, okay? I'll take that image, go ahead and relax. You're gonna turn around, your back is gonna be against the board now, facing this way. And then just same thing how you were over here, just kind of reversed. You're gonna just get your knees as close as they can get to each other. Knees hip, uh, pointing forward, so kind of rotate them and your knees pointing forward. We'll take that image and then we're gonna work our way over to the table, okay? okay. Sound good? Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah, well, go ahead and stand right over there, please, facing the board. And uh, just kind of yeah, get your legs together there for me, your knees. Then slide over to your right a little bit. About right there, good. And let me get everything lined up to you real quick. Go ahead and uh, get a little bit closer there. There you go, and then bend your knees on that board. You all right? We'll uh, have you step to the side real quick, get everything lined up for the other next image. So you go ahead and stand over here, back against the board facing the uh, camera there. And let's slide over to your left just a little bit. Good. And then get your knees closer together if you can. And then just kind of, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Check the family jewels. Okay. So now we're gonna do the rest of the uh, exam on the table, all right? Too bad. Mm, it's got the knee pain. Yeah. Have any questions so far? No. No. All right. We're almost done here, so thanks for being patient. No problem. Thank you. No worries. Let's go ahead and have you on your back here, please. Head on the pillow. So uh, we're gonna start off with your left knee. I'm gonna lift the table up here, okay? So I want you to be alarmed. 
Uh, slide over towards me just a little bit. Now scoot your hips. There you go. So your knee is straight up to the ceiling. I need to have you rotate inward at a 45 degree angle. You may need to rotate your hips for that a little bit. There you go, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Right there, good, great, hold still right there for me. Sorry, I know it's uncomfortable. left leg behind you right leg over so there you go kind of kick this leg back a little bit more there if you can good we're going to use this leg as kind of like a kickstand there you go let's straighten this leg out just a little bit more is that is that all right yeah it's fine okay it's going to kind of rotate your hips forward a little bit Very still. Okay, and they also want to see your kneecap, your patella there. So I'll have you roll all the way onto your back again, please. And then in a moment, you're actually going to help me on this one, all right?
okay? Yes. So I'm gonna put this uh, kind of a cushion under your knee here, okay? Kind of prop it up. Can you bend your knee up there for me? Oh, there you go, and relax. Are you able to hold this board here for me? Yeah. Now bring it up into where it's not too uncomfortable. Is that okay? Yes. All right, thank you. Then we're gonna bring your leg inward here a little bit more. At, uh, both of your knees, correct? Yeah. All right. So they want to see some images with you uh, bearing weight on it. So that's why I had to take off your shoes so you're on level ground there. So I'm just going to demonstrate what I need to have you do here, okay? So we're going to get you close to this board here. You're going to kind of think about this distance or so. You're going to get your knees as close as they can get to each other. And then I just want you to rotate your knees so they're pointing forward. They're not pointing outward or anything like that. So kind of have them pointing forward. And then you're just gonna kind of bend your knees and relax it on this board here. Okay. Okay. I'll take that image. Go ahead and relax. You're gonna turn around. Your back is gonna be against the board now, facing this way. And then just same thing how you were over here, just kind of reversed. You're gonna just get your knees as close as they can get to each other. Knees hip, uh, pointing forward, so kind of rotate them, and your knees pointing forward. We'll take that image, and then we're gonna work our way over to the table. Okay. okay. Sound good? Yes, thank you. Here, I give a quick demonstration of what I want my patient to do. I like to show my patients a brief demo and clear instructions whenever I'm at the wall bucky so they have some sort of idea what they're going to do. Especially this being a multiple view exam, I find it makes it that much easier and efficient. I always keep my patients in the loop in whatever I'm doing and the feedback I get from them is always appreciative. Just like any other exam, my equipment is already in position, I just have to line it up to my patient. My facility's protocol for weight-bearing PA bilateral knees is 72 inches SID and 15 degrees down. For AP, the beam is perpendicular. My go-to ballpark technique is 80 at 10. Do not use AEC as it's difficult to have both knees on the cells. Slide over to your right a little bit. About right there, good. And let me get everything lined up to you real quick. and uh, get a little bit closer there. There you go, and then bend your knees on that board. It is very easy to mismark your PA and AP knees, so double, triple check your markers. Verify both knees are pointing forward, collimate to the area of interest, and hurry up, as more times than not, these weight-bearing views are for patients with possible osteoarthritis, and they'll be very uncomfortable. If possible, the last thing you want your patient to do in any view is the most uncomfortable one for them. Also, don't forget to label them with weight bearing or WB. Okay, hey, relax. We'll uh, have you step to the side real quick, get everything lined up for the other next image. Stand over here, back against the board, facing the uh, camera there. And let's slide over to your left just a little bit. AP directions are similar to PA, 
However, at times you may find your tube may not be able to reach that low for some patients. Looking back, I should have gotten a stool to give my patient some height to get my central ray half inch below the apex of the patella. So, do better than me, alright? Kind of, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Check the family jewels. Okay. So now we're going to do the rest of the uh, exam on the table, all right? Too bad. It's got the knee pain. Yeah. Have any questions so far? No. No. I already have my table ready with a sheet and pillow. Now all I have to do is put the image receptor in the bucky and detent the tube to the table. Being a long exam, you'll find yourself with some awkward quiet time, like on a date or something. I don't recommend this for beginners, but as you become more confident, I suggest talking to your patient and multitask do not stop everything to stare and talk to them i do endorse talking though as it makes your patient more comfortable and builds rapport but proceed with caution as you can get a myriad of interesting stories <laughs> back here please head on a pillow So uh, we're gonna start off with your left knee. We're gonna lift the table up here, okay? All right, just want you to be alarmed. Uh, slide over towards me just a little bit. Now scoot your hips. There you go. So your knee is straight up to the ceiling. I need to have you rotate inward at a 45 degree angle. You may need to rotate your hips for that a little bit. Precise instructions. I not only use my voice, but give a visual aid and show the patient what I need him to do. Most people know what 45 degrees is, and if they don't, I demonstrate with my hand. Also adding, they may need to rotate their hips for this position. Keep on going. Right there, good, great. Hold still right there for me. Sorry, I know it's uncomfortable. So I need to have you roll all the way onto your left side away from me. You're gonna kick your left leg behind you, right leg over. So there you go. Kind of kick this leg back a little bit more than if you can. Good. We're gonna use this leg as kind of like a kickstand. There you go. Do you get it yet? Precise instructions. Own your exam. Not only do I say left, but give another throw direction away from me. You won't believe how many times someone has turned towards me, or have you witnessed this already? <laughs> I use a patient's other leg as a kickstand for stability. 
You can also use a sponge if both knees are in pain. My method for achieving a perfect lateral on almost the first try is to lightly palpate the patella on both lateral and medial side to feel that the patella is perpendicular to the table. I then rotate the patient by placing my other hand on the patient's hip. I find this gives me more control of the rotation. I use lucky number 7 cephalic for my angle on most patients. Just gonna kind of rotate your hips forward a little bit. Right. Yeah, hold very still. Okay, and they also want to see your kneecap, your patella there. So I'll have you roll all the way into your back again, please. And then in a moment, you're actually going to help me on this one, all right? So let's bend your left knee up, right there, and left, too much, come down, right, right, there you go. This right here is my method for a beautiful sunrise. Use at your own discretion. The trick is to have the patient have a slight bend of the knee, about 145 degrees, angle the tube 105 to 110, and then remember, it's just the patella you need, not the rest of the leg. So just skim the knee, think a tangent, and collimate to the area of interest. Think of your anatomy. I use a shadow on the wall to visualize my collimation, then lastly place the image receptor on the patient's hip as they lay supine. This is so that the patient has less time handling the image receptor. Yes, there is OID, however, using the air gap technique and using increased SID, there is minimal magnification. 70 at 3 is my go-to technique. I'm gonna put this. Uh... I set up my equipment before I start positioning my patient. I get my tube perpendicular to the leg, set a rough collimation, and slightly angle my tube caudal, not cephalic, as I am shooting a lateral medial lateral and not a routine table medial lateral lateral. Get it? There is no way to tell how many degrees the angle is, so I just give a slight angle. Anything is better than perpendicular. In order to give the patient a slight bend of the knee, I prop up the knee with a roll of linen or whatever else you can find laying around. I either hand the image receptor to my patient or tape the image receptor up. I then decrease the OID, rotate the leg so the patella is perpendicular to the image receptor, then lastly line up the central ray and fix the collimation and place my marker. Sheesh! 
Are you able to hold this forward here for me? Yeah. Now bring it up to where it's not too uncomfortable. Is that okay? Yes. All right, thank you. Then we're gonna bring your leg inward here a little bit more. When I evaluate my lateral repeat, I look at the proximal tibiofibular joint. This tells me whether I need to rotate my patient's knee towards or away from the table or image receptor. In this case, the joint is seen too much and there is rotation. If you can imagine the anatomy of the lower leg, the only way to see the joint or the fibula is if it's rotated laterally, so simply rotate the opposite way. In this case, the joint is not seen and there is rotation. If you can imagine the anatomy of the lower leg, the only way to see the joint or the fibula is if it's rotated laterally. So simply rotate laterally. A common theme, what I call a trademark in my workflow, are the directions I give my patients. And at times, when I give a brief demonstration of what I want my patients to do at the wall bucky. After countless of times of my exams going way longer than needed, I began noticing the main issue where my patient's ignorance of the unusual positions we want them in. They don't see nor do these positions daily, we do. So instead of getting frustrated with them, and as I gained more experience and confidence, I soon started to give brief demonstrations of what I want my patients to do, and I started to articulate my instructions to be more precise, more comprehensive, to the average person. A little education, if you will. This was definitely a game changer for myself as I started to notice my exams were getting much more efficient more times than not. So with that, as you get more experience, I recommend you try to implement this in your workflow. Because remember, it does not matter how well you can position if your patient does not understand you. As always, if this video gave you any value, press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already for more x-ray content, and share this with any other classmates that may need a little help. And of course, a little inspiration for y'all go. When you find yourself doubting how far you can go, remember how far you have come. We have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking x-rays. I love, baby. Peace.